Please welcome B. Arthur. I'm terrific. I mean, who wouldn't be? I'm so happy that you showed I up after I accosted you. I can't believe we finally you. got together. I know. We it's were at wonderful. Forbidden Broadway, and I, I accosted you and yes. begged you to come on the show. Yes. And yes. you did. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yes. Because you never know if people will be frightened, or somehow appreciative of my enthusiasm. Oh no, no, I know. It was very, very enthusiastic. Yeah. I mean, you were, and your brother. Danny. Did you? Did you? Do they know what? what transpired that fateful night. I didn't tell them, no. <clears throughs> no, what had happened, I'd been, um, well, I'm a fan of uh, Forbidden Broadway. I was there for the second time in a couple of weeks. And uh, we saw the show, and it was wonderful. I was sitting there with a couple of friends. And then the show was over, and Rosie, who, what, had been at the next table or two tables away. Watching you the whole show. And her, I didn't realize I that. was. <laughs> <laughs> and her brother came over, I stood next to my table and sang the entire Maud theme. In harmony. Yeah, but her, your brother just came in for the, oh, yeah. Yeah, he came in yeah. for the, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, this is interesting, because I was at a place last night down in the village yeah. called the Universal Grill. I know it. Have you, you heard? It's nice. Well, you know what they do? It's a wild, crazy place, kind of wonderful, where they, when people celebrate a birthday there, uh, they don't sing happy birthday to you. They all get up and they sing the Maud theme. Exactly. And not yes. a lot of people know that ending part. <laughs> I, know, I know. Would you uh, like to hear? Uh, no, Rosie please, me. I couldn't. I'll come in for the oh yeah. You will? If you do the oh yeahs, I'll do it. I'll do the oh yeah. All right, hit it, John. Surprising and a thing but tranquilizing right on board. Uh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Who would have thought? That was wonderful. Growing up, that I would ever get to sing it to your face. You know, I. Well, love. you know, I was thinking about this, Rosie, because you know when we started, Maud was in 1972. Yes. Were you, how old were you? Nine. You ten. really were? I was born in 62, I was 10. Ah, ah, so you do remember. I totally, because I, I remember I, the first episode of All in the Family. Oh my God. That was the pilot episode. Oh my God. That they spun off. <laughs> yes, yes. You know what, B? What? We have it here. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'd like to see it. Oh my God. Take a look. Me with the hair the and the The hair and, and, and the that. things, go. <laughs> and so you are. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> now, the history goes, I know I'm not sure that it's true, you did that one episode and CBS said, give her her own series. Yes. One episode. Yeah, but they also said, where has that girl been? Yeah. You know, after many, many years on Broadway, off Broadway, off, off. But you know. Norman Lear was a friend of yours and he coached yes. you to come out to LA yes. to do one yes. episode. Yes. Did you have any idea that they were going to offer you this? Oh, and no. It, no. I mean, I, all I was worried about was that it would be good, the one segment. Right. And Norman promised me that if it wasn't, he'd get somebody else to do it. I'm glad he so did it. Did? Yeah. yeah. It was a lot of fun. Now, Maud, how, how long did it run? I stayed with it for six years. Six years. Yeah. They wanted to go on. I believe I've forgotten whether I, I became a congresswoman or a something in Washington. <laughs> and they wanted to, uh, you know, it was at the height of the, the women's movement. Right. And uh, then they wanted to continue with Maud in Washington with a different cast. But I figured, you know, it, she'd still be the same Maud. And uh, I decided it was enough. Six years is enough. 
And it was sort of instantly hugely successful. Was it hard to adjust to that kind of fame, like, overnight? Uh, yes, because it's totally different being, as you, congratulations. Thank you very much. Very, very much. No, you know, <clears throat> you, can, you can spend years and very successfully on the stage, mm -hmm. but once you hit television, it's like, I mean, people who never even knew you feel that uh, you're, a, you know, you're a member of the family. Right. And uh, it was pretty rough at first. I mean, because I wasn't used to that kind of adulation or whatever. You know, you could, I remember, I remember taking my kids to Disneyland and I, uh, I thought, oh, God, how am I going to do this so no one will recognize me? And I put on a raincoat and put the collar up, and I had big, dark glasses, and I wore a, a scarf around my hair. And, you know, standing in line in that heat for hours <laughs> waiting. And I, I mean, I, nobody paid any attention to me, <laughs> except they all looked at me. You know, who's that crazy lady <laughs> who's sweating so hard? <laughs> but uh, no. and. Uh, you know, after that, you sort of realize they, they really feel you're a member of the family, and sure. they love you. And if they want to, if they come up to you, it's only because they want to say thank you right. and I love you. You know how much they appreciate yes, you. Yes, yes. Now yes. you did, of course, maim with Angela Lansbury yes, here. Yes. Yes. And you guys are remained really good friends. Oh Is yes, that true? very yes. close. Isn't that lovely? Yes. 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 You're a big supporter of the theater, I know. Yes. Have you seen any of the new musicals this uh, year? I've seen. I've seen uh, the Life. Steel Pier. Uh, Titanic, have you seen? No, I haven't. I, I know you like that very much. I tell you, I, and I saw the uh, Little Foxes. Stockard was I saw was great. last night at Ballyhoo. And I saw How I Learned to Drive. And I really am tired now. I want a couple of <laughs> theater free days, yeah, you know. But it's exciting, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's very exciting. Is that your first I'm, love theater? You think? Oh, of course. Yeah. Except that, you know, doing both TV shows that I did was like doing theater because we did it in front of an audience, you know. Oh, I must tell you, I just did a very, a very fun thing this week. Uh, first of all, I just came to New York to see friends and shows. Didn't plan on working, but um, uh, I did, along with a couple of other people, I'll tell you who they are, a, um, a children's, a recording of a children's book for uh, the Children's um, uh, Book of the Month Club. Wow. For a... Um, the proceeds to go to a, um, a foster children's charity in, in L.A. And Paula Poundstone oh, I love. is producing it. And it's called uh, A Mother for Choco. And uh, I recorded part of it. And Mary Tyler Moore and Lily Tomlin wow. and Ed Asner and Kathy... Uh, uh, the, 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 the Jimmy. The Jimmy. The Jimmy. Very funny from yes, Sister Act. Yes, yes, yes. Paula and, Poundstone, uh, isn't she great? Oh, yes. And she's a foster mom I herself, know, as I you know. know. Yes. Yeah, she's know. a she's going to be next year a correspondent for us on the show. She's going to be on once a month. Oh, she's going to go all over the country at, like, oh, chili festivals and to the mall, what she's great at talking yeah. to people, and she's going to be... Chili festivals. Can you imagine like her at a chili cook-off? Yeah. <laughs> that is funny comedy right there. I know. Well, well, well when, that, when that comes out, you send us a copy, and we'll hold it up and tell everyone where to oh, get it. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Can I say B. Arthur? It's one of the thrills of my life getting well, to meet I you and know you. you and I really. And may I tell you that it's a joy to be here? Oh, that's. I nice. usually don't do these. Things. But I so appreciate that you did, and I'm very satisfied. Thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with George Wallace after this.